Back with Super Mario Bros. Square Root of 5, we left off in World 4. This one has been quite a ride so far. We've had to use Koopa's Walking on Air to clear gaps. We've had to do all kinds of clips and wall jumps. Speaking of which... There we go. Mushroom? Very good. Oh, more swimming. Last time there was swimming, I had to learn something new about the video game. This time we just have spinies dropping on us. <laughs> Thank goodness for crouch swimming. Okay. Nothing crazy so far. Yeah, and world four is actually the fifth world. Ah, I needed the mushroom. No. Get in there. No. Yeah, so I just need this crouch swimming to go into this one block gap. Then Mario will stand up and it will put his head into the wall. Yeah, perfect. Hopefully I don't need the mushroom still. <laughs> hmm. Nope, that is not the answer. Okay, my goal is to hit the wall jump. Oh, what? I, I thought I tested to see if there was a whirlpool there last time and there wasn't, but okay. That's great. Oh, wait, Mr. Blooper. Uh, <laughs> he's too powerful, dude. Okay, get me out. Ah, I immediately know what I must do. So if you've never jumped before, like see, if I do a jump, I'm gonna bounce not very far at all. But if you've never jumped yet, after a pipe or starting a stage, you have really low gravity. Okay, so I, I need to take that all the way to the spring and then I'll get a really far bounce. I have three Koopas to work with. Wee! Oh. Yeah, that's just what I had to do. <laughs> I'm curious about that plus block that was down there, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Perfect. There's some way to get the mushroom and then collect three one-ups on the other side of this. I guess if you just keep your mushroom all the way to the end, you can get those extra bonus blocks. <laughs> nice. Three bro lives from 2008. <laughs> First level of the day and we've already done <laughs> new water clips and... Uh, Low gravity section. Hey, what if I didn't have the mushroom? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> it's funny, it's like the first spot I check. I'm like, they have to have put one in, but it's right here. Okay, this is actually a pretty tight jump. Huh, I've never thought about damage clipping like that, where you just stand up. Yeah, so, yeah. You're supposed to do it like that. It makes more sense. This is incredibly tight, <laughs> but it's fine. We're gamer. See? Oh, I probably have to kick that guy down. Whoa. I have a couple ideas, but this is crazy. Okay, first of all, we're just gonna try. <laughs> okay, my first idea worked. Great. Okay, we're past there. Just a good old Super Mario Brothers.
Whoa, that one worked? Okay. That was really hard. <laughs> Okay, what the, we're just, we just got some invisible blocks, it's chill, but how do I know the range of them? Show me, uh, we'll never know. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, perfect. <laughs> this is insane, if this is the solution, like, unfathomable. Okay, I did it. Uh, I don't think it really changes anything, though. <laughs> uh, maybe, like, I don't know. <laughs> can I just... Yeah, I don't think there's any way I can reach him, right? Yes. Uh, I'm probably up too high, actually. I think I want to clip lower. Yeah. Okay, get me out of here, man. Ugh. The end. Look at that door. Okay. <laughs> Easy stuff, as opposed to what we just did. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, so if I was small, I would hit this and it would be a mushroom. And then you wait for it to come down and grab it down here and just do that. <laughs> okay, but now what uh, do I do? <laughs> yeah, so like what on earth am I supposed to do in this stage? <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Gotta try and go in everything as if it's a pipe. Okay, yeah, so it would appear that this is a pipe? No? It did look a little bit different. Maybe it's a vine. Maybe I can hit it. Oh, okay. Dude, there it is. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Just, you have to crouch climb? That's incredible! I've never... Whoa! Crouch climb through the ceiling? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. Land there. Okay, nothing special except secretly... Huh? What am I looking at? I don't know. Left, right, left? Was that some kind of hint? Ouch. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hey! Whoops. We broke the A. Okay. What is this? 4-1. Face left when I break that one, and face right, and then face left. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Jump the beetle. The piranha plant. Still exists. The warp zone's not fully loaded. Ah. That's just lovely. <laughs> oh, scrolling amount? As in, like, it's just telling you to do this? Get the screen all the way scrolled over? Make sure you get it. Scrolled maximum scrollage. I'm pretty sure we've done it. Hmm. Doesn't seem different to me so far. Okay. What do you got for me? Hmm? <laughs> 
So I guess you're somehow supposed to know. We want Mario facing to the right when we go down the pipe. This hack so far has just had really cool solutions, but this is more how those old ones are. Let's try this thing. Okay, sure. <laughs> ah, Bowser, here we come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even think this is the solution, man. I think I gotta go in that warp zone behind the bee or something. What do you do here? Oh, he goes up. Does he have fire? Do I need fire? Do I have to kill him? Because whenever a real Bowser, not a fake Bowser that turns into a different enemy, but a real Bowser, whenever he falls off the screen, it runs the routine to delete all sprites. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, all sprites. <laughs> but yeah, in this case, it's also deleting a scroll stop object, which that's actually a pretty cool use of this. Okay, Bowser died, and so did the scroll stop. So we can scroll the screen again. Now what? Okay, guess we don't need that anymore. Hmm, gamer jump? So close. Yeah, if it was the warp zone clip, because you have to like take damage and then do the clip while during iframes, like that would've been awesome. But instead it was like, ah, oh, yeah, classic <laughs> 2000s impossible to solve Mario hack. <laughs> I don't even want to grab that. Won't this just take me to world five? I don't understand. Am I gonna have to pull up the task again? Did I miss something? <laughs> There's a hit, another hidden vine block on this screen. Thank you, Mario. She sure is. And it's not in World 5, but that's where it took us. Okay. I found a vine, but I don't have the mushroom. Hey, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this. I did it. Let's go. You just had to. We just had to brute force save state sub pixels, <laughs> whatever. I have to, I have to clip and then stop jumping once I get in. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're going up the vine, my friends. Your pick, chat, which one would you rather go to? <laughs> huh. Well, it doesn't seem we get the choice between 9 and 10 like I thought we were about to. <laughs> okay, world 6, finally. I don't know what's happening in my life. Why am I in 4-1 now? <laughs> Yeah, I really liked this hack when it was just actually for experienced players and not for mind readers. In the beginning, there will no longer be a brown ground in the world, and the world will be dominated by cyan and black, and the temperature will be further improved by leaps and bounds. Right, that's what I was thinking already. Pay attention to the hint here. This is key to solving the next 6-1 puzzle. The first page, press and hold the right button to reach the second page. Everyone can think about the meaning of the previous prompt. <laughs> Why do I have to hold right on the previous ones at all? Why isn't it just don't hold right? Whatever. 
<laughs> there's no indication on the hint that you should hold neutral. Both, it, it just says hold right on both. It, <laughs> it could have been so much better. I, I don't get why they make, they go through all the effort to make cool things in these hacks and then they, they get like 80% of the way there and they're like, let's just make it impossible and ambiguous. Okay, this is the eighth screen. I'm still holding right. Now I'm not gonna hold anything. Now do I get to play the video game? No. Okay, so if you hold right on number nine, bad things happen, you'll die on 10. I'm not holding right. Now I am. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, the hint almost makes sense, but <laughs> could use a little bit more work. Hey, I've played one like this before. This will be fun. Okay, we have to despawn the star with like a certain Y subpixel value, so then this will jump when it comes out. <laughs> Yay. Whoops. No. <laughs> this Koopa could not be in a worse position. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, wow. Whoa. That part's gonna be hard. Okay. Boing, boing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I couldn't get in. Okay, it's not that hard. Stand right here. It clips me in. I clip. I die. <laughs> okay. Get me out. <laughs> this is the end of this stage. I, I want to play something new. I, I'll have fun for the people, I swear. <clears throat> Everything that has just happened is behind us. 6-2 is gonna be a beautiful thing. Hey, look, there's an invisible block right here. It has a fire flower. And look, it's gray and it's cool. There's lots of bullet bills. <laughs> Get him. Hey, that was cool, huh guys? And, and there's another one. Oh, there's some more. There's a star. We're gonna get it. Okay, everything's great. You need to not have the star. That's the usual. Okay. It's perfect. We made it past. We don't even need the mushroom. You don't, you don't need it. I'm not convinced that you don't need it. <laughs> Kick the shell and gamer jumps. Woo, we're having fun, guys. <laughs> I needed a bullet bill, <laughs> I think. I'm not having fun anymore. Rewind to last drum hack Wednesday when I was like, when you have to escort a bullet bill, it's actually like my least favorite <laughs> thing. I'll escort anything else, man. I think bullet bill ones are kind of lame. I don't think they exist. They do. Sure, super jump time. <laughs> Woo! Okay, go! <laughs> Woo! It's, it's fine. We're having fun, guys. Right. Okay, like I know what I have to do. It's just stupid. And I have to be like small Mario and stuff. Okay, I'll try this again. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. What? Why didn't he clip? Okay, 
What do I do next? I clip in there and get a mushroom? Oh. Wait, guys, this is actually so easy. Watch this. <laughs> okay, I got the mushroom. Like, just don't even worry about it. Fall down and clip again. No. Oh, okay. Okay, we hit that, and you're like, whoa, it grew through the bottom of the screen? That means you're supposed to go down here and grab it. But I don't, I don't think so. Okay, through the wall. Nice, GG. Okay. Yep, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. What's going on now? Wait, no. No. <laughs> There's an invisible block there? <laughs> That's just fantastic. No, get me in. Perfect. Uh, now what am I playing? I'm playing the wall jump up here game. I'm playing the hit these blocks and find a vine hopefully game. Okay, I guess that's not that bad. Okay, okay, okay. Climb on up. Wait, I have to also break this block when it's this height. I did it, okay. Please grab this dumb vine. I, what? <laughs> Hello? I give up. Uh, this is my final resting place. Okay, get out of there. Get up there. Okay. We're going to world seven. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to world seven. Ugh. Woo. It's cyan, the color, the, t the temperature has changed. Oh, really? One of these, huh? Man, that's actually really satisfying. So, I think I... I think I want to take damage. And then mushroom jump up here. Yeah, we're in the same spot. Unless I, like, need fire flower for something. I don't know. Break the blocks, and then take damage. Yeah, we're gonna have to start playing our own music here in a second. It's getting too spooky. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to get this mushroom and then mushroom jump off of it. Why can't I get it? I got it. <laughs> Go! Oh man, we got up. We're up. We're up. What's next? Some mystery. <laughs> you probably already made the solution impossible. Okay, we're up. <laughs> Great. Easy video game, actually. It's just hit me, the concept that the game is supposed to get harder and harder, you know? So I keep thinking this is not the solution that I'm doing, but I think it genuinely just is because I, I think as we get farther, they say, yeah, this is just going to be like, you should be tasking the game to beat it or something, you know? That's the way it feels.
Like, oh yeah, you are just supposed to clip through every wall. Okay. I need to be up there. Oh, whoops, I didn't expect to get it first try. <laughs> okay, we're up. Ah, now that's a gamer jump if I've ever seen one. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you need the mushroom. <laughs> Okay, what's up, beetles? What? I don't care that I'm low on time. I need an 8,000 kick. You hear? <laughs> that was awesome. This is the end? Okay, I probably just need to go and finish this later. What the? What am I looking at? Watch this. Is this a hold right level? No. It's a spawn the bills and then hold right level? Yeah. No. What's going on? Go. Just make it somewhere. <laughs> I don't understand. Go. Do something. Guys, <clears throat> I decided that we should just watch the task for the rest of the game, I think. <laughs> what do you think? Like, It's kind of turned into that, where it would be the same thing. Like, I'm just, I'm just manually trying to task this level. I don't know. <laughs> I think we got far enough that they decided this is like a task-only hack. <laughs> if there's like some cool puzzles, then, then there's some cool puzzles I missed, I guess. But... I did what I could. I'm just not an experienced enough player. <laughs> yeah, just like perfect speed control. Just spam save states at it. Dude. <laughs> when he runs off and then pulls back and then hits it so low. Okay, that wasn't required, but it was faster. And yeah, you need like 30 hertz mashing to keep this up, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that all would have been fine. We we could have beaten that level, honestly. It's just it's just taking too long. Let's just see what the rest of the heck has in store. Okay, a wall jump, a gamer jump. You ride that platform, you jump between two bullet bills, you're dodging a ton of bullet bills. Uh you clip through the wall. There's something down there. Here, one second. Okay, you clip through the wall and then there's like a pipe you jump up and you go in this pipe. Uh, you would have you have to hit this vine and you climb the vine to somewhere, but he probably skipped it. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, he's doing that right now. Wait. Uh, whatever. Hey, we've seen this before. This time you go in the one pipe, huh? Is all of this just so you can get a mushroom back to 1-1 and clip over the top? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's watch World 8. I'm glad that we stopped playing. This is not meant to be played. This is meant to watch a task of. Oh, another vine. Yeah, there were there was a solid six worlds of fun in here. A couple levels here and there were kind of iffy, but genuinely there were like. 
There were at least like 20 super good levels. Or I guess there's only three per world. Okay, there was like... There were like 15 really good levels. <laughs> I'm glad we stopped playing. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to play that? The ground just invisible. <laughs> hey, this is... Whoa! Oh! That platform... Dude, I see. Wait, that's crazy. When we were back in 4-3, and I kept being like, Look, there's a platform that spawns here. Right here, but it, and and this this doesn't appear either. This platform, these have the hard mode flag set, so they only appear after five three in the game, and that lets you go up over the top. Oh, someone made a a comment about five three, but I must have misinterpreted it. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad that we're not playing. How does he not go in the pipe? These all have to be frame-perfect jumps to get through the pipe, I think? <laughs> Excellent. He still has low gravity. Oh, uh, there's a clue for the vines. Boss incoming. Oh, cyan, the temperature is updated. Improved. Scroll stop, get the orb. No, go in a pipe. Another one, dude. <laughs> How many Bowser fights are there gonna be? An invisible Bowser? <laughs> dude, what is this absurd game? Okay. We found her. Thank you for playing. And sorry for any <laughs> inconvenience. I don't think there could have been a better end message than that okay i think we made the right choice we played as much as was we, we honestly went a little beyond what was sensible but i hope it was an all right experience for everyone what what we did play through and that was as someone said in chat truly mental <laughs>